All right. You may notice that uh, Dwarf Fortress has changed, and it is due to the fact that uh, I installed a graphic pack and we are not playing regular Dwarf Fortress anymore. This is a Dwarf Fortress modification by Advent RPG called War and My Mythos, which in my opinion is one of the best adventure mode uh, modifications for Dwarf Fortress that exists. And without further ado, let us start creating our character. Um, there are a few different types of heroic adventure types that we can choose or could choose, but uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to start as a plump helmet man, if possible. Yes, it is. This is just a short introductory video, so we are probably gonna die a horrible death uh, shortly, but it helps us flesh out what this modification actually is. So let's pump up what we usually do. Uh, also willpower, memory, let's have some focus to recuperation and okay no linguistics ability because we can speak no musicality either no need for kinesthetic sense or empathy or social awareness however we are gonna go spatial sense like such um, and okay no creativity patience or intuition for us also no analytical ability or disease resistance. However, we can pump up this and pump up focus too. Um, uh, what type of weapon should we use is the question here. Uh, first of all, let's put a third uh, point into reader, one into swimmer. I'm also going to put some into fighter, obviously, like 10, and I think we are going to go with the swordsman. Also, let's put some on dodger and armor user. And let's put the last point that we have uh, into wrestler. Okay, so that's it. We are a warrior plump helmet man. Um, one of the best parts I won't be able to showcase in this episode, but uh, the questing in this modification is much better than in Vanilla Dwarf Fortress. There are a lot of uh, things that we can hunt down, and some are even special encounters. So there's that. Let's let's name our character ourselves. How about that? Um, let's customize the name. First name will be Angry. Oh, actually, we can set the name by customizing it. Front compound will be mm, Angry. Rear compound will be Mushroom. Angry Mushroom is our name which is Ustoskun in the language. Okay, and where should we start? If we are going to start in a Dwarven Fortress or Hillox, and okay, this is perfect. We emerged from the wilds and managed to prove ourselves to the locals. Now we are finally a fortress guard of the Grace Moses scrape painted in single attics at Dwarven Fortress. Destiny is calling. You are a faithful worshipper of Tiki's early dungs, the Dwarven goddess of blight, death, and rebirth. A perfect god for the type of character that we are going to roleplay, because I'm going to go full customization on our first character, so we don't give a flying shit about law, we have no loyalty, we don't need family, also no friendship for us, However, we really do like power. We don't care about c truth. We value cunning. Eloquence doesn't matter. No fairness. Zero decorum. 
uh, tradition doesn't matter, artwork neither. We hate cooperation. We do believe in independence and stoicism. Uh, introspection doesn't matter. Self-control, of course, none. No tranquility, no harmony. Merriment, we don't care one way or the other. Craftsmanship, we don't care. Martial prowess, yes, the most important part. Skills, yes. Actually, no, who cares? Hard work, nah. Sacrifice, we, we would never do that. Competition, we don't care. Preservance, yes, we want to survive as long as we want, can. Leisure time, no. Opinion, no opinion. Romance, screw romance. And we don't care about nature one way or the other. Screw peace and screw... Well, knowledge, whatever. Here it is. Let's go with this. No, we no, we don't love anything. We hate everything. We don't really envy the one very or another. We are very cheerless. No, feel no sadness. However, we are easily angered by anything in the world. Uh, no anxiety whatsoever. No lust. Actually, I don't care about lust. We are not vulnerable to stress, not greedy, uh, intemperate, oh yes, we are very intemperate, we like brawls, we are stubborn, a bit wasteful, discord, we thrive for discord, we love to quarrel, we are rude, and disdain advice from others, we are however very fearless and overconfident in our ability. And we are very, very ambish ambitious. We don't feel a sense of gratitude. Um, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We are very ve vengeful, very proud, very cruel. We are also single-minded, a bit, not much. And curiosity doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Mm. We don't tolerate differences at all. We uh, don't care about emotions. We are not swayed by emotions. Not artistic. We are not dutiful at all. And not deliberate, however, not orderly or not sloppy. We are distrustful to others. A loner. And very overbearing to others. Uh, we seek excitement in our life. And also, we don't care about the abstract or art and that's our perfect character so let's see now he personally believes that the acquisition of power over others is the ideal goal in life and worthy of the highest respect holds valid plans and shrewd deceptions in the highest regard believes that freedom and independence are completely non-negotiable and would fight to defend them views any show of emotion as offensive, believes that martial prowess defines the good character of an individual, believes that preservance is one of the greatest qualities somebody can have, finds the idea of laws, laws abhorrent, is disgusted by the idea of loyalty, finds the idea of family loathsome, finds the whole idea of friendship disgusting, is repaired by the idea of honesty, and lies without compunction, is disgusted by the idea of fairness, and will freely cheat anybody at any time is affronted by the whole notion of maintaining decorum and finds so-called dignified people disgusting. Is thoroughly disgusted by cooperation, has abandoned any attempt at self-control and finds the whole concept deeply offensive. Is disgusted by tranquility and wood that the world would constantly churn without noise and activity. Believes deeply that chaos and disorder are the truest expressions of life and would disrupt harmony wherever it is found thinks that the entire concept of sacrifice for others is truly disgusting, finds even the abstract idea of romance repellent, thinks that the world should be engaged in perpetual warfare, doesn't really see the point of working hard, doesn't care about art one way or another, doesn't really value merrymaking, and doesn't particularly care about craftsmanship. He doesn't care if others take the time to master skills, doesn't think one way or the other about leisure time, and doesn't particularly respect commerce. So, and how is he as a person? He never falls in love or develops positive feelings toward anything. He is often inflamed by hatred and easily develops hatred toward things. He is never the slightest bit cheerful about anything. He never feels discouraged. He is in a constant state of internal rage. 
He has incredibly calm demeanor. He is ruled by irresistible cravings and urges. He is given to rough and tumble brawling, even to the point of starting fights for no reason. He revels in chaos and discord, and he encourages it whenever possible. He's a died in the wool quarrel, never missing a chance to lash out in verbal hostility. Well, too bad that we can speak. We are vulgar being who does not care a lick for even the most basic rules of civilized living. He is utterly fearless when even the most com uh huh where it is sorry I lost the line. Uh, oh, he is utterly f fearless when confronted with danger to the point of lacking common sense. He presupposes success in any venture requiring his skills with what would be called blind overconfidence. He has a relentless drive, completely consumed by ambition. He does not feel the slightest need to recuperate favors that others do for him. No ma matter how major the help or how much he needed it, he is vengeful and never forgets or forgets past grievances. He is absorbed in delusions of self-importance. He is deliberately cruel to those unfortunate enough to be subjects of his sadism. He cannot tolerate differences in culture, lifestyles or appearance. He is never moved by the emotions of others. He sees others as selfish and combining. He considers spending time alone much more important than associating with others. He is assertive to the point of aggression, unwilling to let others get a word in edgewise when he has something to say, but we can't speak. He never fails to seek out the most stressful and even dangerous situations. He is concerned only with matters practical to the situation at hand, with absolutely no inclination toward abstract discussion. He is completely unmoved by art or the beauty of nature, he is stubborn, he has a tendency to go, go at it alone without considering the advice of others. This is our perfect character and he dreams of ruling the world one the day. Yeah, seems good. Okay, let's jump right into the game. Finally got your equipment together, such as it is, now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you were going to do. Perhaps some of your friends can remind you. Well, we can't ask anybody because we can't speak, so first of all, let's check out our equipment. Uh, we have a silver short sword, we have to replace that as soon as possible because silver is better for blunt weapons. Iron shield is alright, uh, we don't have any useful... useful... Uh, armor. And the irony is that we are wearing a blood helmet fiber backpack. Blood helmet are basically the distant cousins of of flump helmets. Okay, now this is bad already because uh -huh, there's a fortress sentence. Okay, then maybe we can get out of here. We have discovered an expensive cavern system. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's the stairs up. Okay, okay, let's go up and let's leave this place right away. My first time playing uh, adventure mode, I got stuck in a fortress and starved to death because I couldn't get out. So that was pretty much fun. Uh, now let's see if we can steal a weapon that's better than what we have. These are armor, silver, silver, silver. We are swordsmen, so we will need a sword. Okay, nothing there. Maybe in this pile. Uh, let's check it out. Nope, everything is made of silver. I'm a bit unhappy about that. Uh, do any of these guys have battle axe? Okay, I feel like we have to leave this place. However, first of all, we are gonna go and get some drinks. We are going to take some beer or rum or whatever is in these barrels. Ale, okay, let's take the ale, let's drink it. Okay, now we drank to the point of nausea. This is of course, all this guy's fault. And we can live. Screw you guys, I'm going home. My people need me. 
Okay, let's see where we can go. Um, just down the map, I see that there are a lot of foreign locks. So, maybe not the drinking mound that won't have anything useful. We have to get to a human city or an elven city or a city with useful stuff. Maybe this place will be the one that we seek. Mm. However, where is... Oh, houses, houses, well, houses. Okay, we won't be able to get anything useful out of this, so let's move to the next city. And let's hope that we find something useful. Okay, I see that here's a lot of houses. But I would need a place where we can acquire equipment. Because this is really not what we need. Mm-hmm. almost already night time okay we are gonna get attacked by something let's hope that we can survive our very first encounter we feel uneasy oh and we are still nauseous i'm not happy about that at all let's see what's lurking in the shadows we hear groan okay what is that Great alligator recruit. A huge reptile find in rivers and marshlands. It's an ambush predator, solitary and very muscular. Okay. I think we can sneak up on it. And. Okay, first of all, we don't need the ale. Let's try and kill it from behind. Okay, the head. You silently slash the muscular great alligator recruit in the head from behind with your silver short sword tearing the muscle. Has been stunned. Okay. Let's impale it from behind. We stab the great alligator recruit in the lower body from behind tearing the muscle. Okay, it hasn't noticed yet that we are attacking it. We can kill this thing. We just have to be clever about it. Uh, let's take out one of its legs. The foot, okay. Is it trying to run away? It won't be able to. I'm taking this thing out. Our the problem is that we, as I said, have silver sword, which is really not good for... for cutting things so we have to probably improvise okay we slashed it in the face and all of its teeth flew out of its mouth so now it can't really bite us anymore which is good does it have an, any equipment? no okay it has no teeth anymore let's try and cut off the head Oh, he's trying to run away. Dude, that's just not gonna work out for you. Uh huh. Impossible strike. Mmm. Where your foot? Okay, it fell over. Now it's over for you. Come on, don't struggle. I will actually feel sorry for you if you try and run away too much. Uh, let's try and slap it in the head. Well, the good thing is about the fight lasting longer is that we are getting better at sword fighting. Uh, what? The rear leg. Strike with the pommel. It glanced away. It doesn't matter. Come on. Okay, it gave into pain. That means that it's on the ground. Now let's finish it off. Come on. And we just threw up all over the poor guy. Oh, okay. Let's kick it in the head. Maybe we can finish him off like that. 
Oh my god. Heavy bleeding, tired, heart is ruined. Stab it in the neck maybe. Come on. Okay, let's put this away. Let's take its throat and let's try and strangle it in while it's uh, fainted. Not the most elegant way, but it may be the mo best. Come on. Any second now. Okay, it's suffocated. We managed to kill it. And now let's butcher its corpse. And let's uh, actually let's decorate our or can we can we decorate our equipment with its bones? Decorate with bone spikes. Oh yes, we can. Silver short sword with the school. Okay. Great. Now our silver sword is decorated with the alligator spikes. So let's take one of its two its trophy. And let's move on. We probably deserve something for killing that alligator. Uh, what's up there? I really need a place where I can replace my silver sword though, even though we just decorated it. Uh, as you saw, silver is not just not effective as a cutting weapon. So, maybe let's try and move up there, I see a larger city. However, we are getting hungry and drowsy, which is not a good thing at all. Okay, let's rest until the dawn comes and good okay let's drink and let's eat i should have took some of its uh, meat with me but well too late for that now we're still nauseous we've been walking the whole night and we are still nauseous we have to drink water okay why are we that drowsy we just slept a lot or did i just wait maybe I may have screwed it up, well, whatever. We can deal with drowsiness until we get to the city. Come on, move away from the river. Hmm. Okay. We have to cross so many rivers before we get there. Come on. Let's drink the water. Let's eat the cave fish. Let's eat some more cave fish. Okay. And let's cross the river. Okay, there is the river. Hopefully there's nothing lurking in the waters below. Okay, come on. Oh, what is that? A snapping turtle, okay. That's not too bad snapping turtle well actually we can get killed by a snapping turtle since we are just a weak mushroom but hopefully it won't happen okay now it's just a straight line ahead to our goal to the large city yes okay we're almost there we can get there get around the river and Okay, we arrived. So the next step is I'm going to search for a church or a temple, desecrate it and hope for a good curse to occur. The great thing about War and Myth is that it ha has a lot of custom werewolf, uh, were creature and vampire curses that can occur. Hopefully we get a good one. Okay, let's topple this statue. Oh, the DT. Sometimes I don't know what, why, but sometimes it don't doesn't work, and it's exactly, it's not working right now, unfortunately. 
So there's either another church or temple in the city or we are out of luck. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Well, that's too bad. Oh, that, there it is, the Church of Bristles. Okay, that's what we need. Mm hmm Let's do it. However, where, where is it? Oh, there it is, okay. Now, now, let's topple a statue in here that will definitely curse us. Uh, blah, blah. And it didn't. So the DT either left this place Yeah, we are not getting cursed. Unfortunate. Well, we can still kill the priest of the place. Or let's go in here and let's end our lives, basically. I think this episode showcased at least what... A lizard woman hammer man, okay. Bronze mall, okay, that's not what we need. Right now, we are going to retire here in this place, and we can continue this adventure next time with the same adventure. Uh, who are you? Frail Holy Hilo, Hero. Uh, everyone has bad equipment. Okay, so thank you guys for joining me in this little adventure. Hopefully you stick around and see the end of it with this little guy. Sholas Ustaskirin, the angry mushroom. See ya.